morning. This is vlog 483. This is vlog 483. Kathy is still working on the Ellen DeGeneres project. It's due on Thursday, Tuesday, what is today? It's due in three days. The 12 days of Christmas is uh, uh, getting geared up. I'm not sure what their schedule is. You'll have to watch the show, but it's gonna be cool. Another Christmas mascot bringing the stuff out. For me, no events planned today. I got a few things in the works. I got a, a bunch of computer work to do. Uh, everything from the book work to the blog work to the design work to what's going on with the Kathy. It's a full plate of all kinds of things. But at some point, we're going to go up into town. We're going to check out some cool cars. We're going to go to the beach. We're going to do a variety of things. Shh, can't say that that loud. The dogs will freak out. dog leashes. They're around somewhere. It is much cooler in Malibu now. We had a few hot days, but now it's significantly cooler which is nice. I think it's going to get warmer again, though. I looked on the weather. One would hope. This woman survives solely for the heat. I, on the other hand, don't necessarily like... Because you can go to the beach. Well, that's, that's good, too. But I like, I like cold weather. She likes cold weather also. She's just kind of obsessive. It's a cool bridge. So good. I could be going across the across the Chicago River. The time change has really kind of messed things up. You set meetings, you do certain things, and uh, it just kind of gets all wonky. Everything feels a little bit later. It's one of those things when you, you wake up in the morning, it feels different. You go to bed, it feels different. But change is good. Change is the only thing that is constant in this world, and you gotta get used to it. So what are you gonna do? I'm gonna go up into town, look for some cars, and go to the bank. What are you doing? Oh, um, I'm working on the costume, which of course you can't see, uh, and it's going to be done tomorrow. So, in my off time, I'm casting up some little 
faces just out of the mermaid mold that <clears throat> when I order the paint, when I get around to it, um, I have samples. I can try samples. And the paint is like a, a bronze, it's got bronze metal flakes in the paint. So when I put that on, then I can patina it just like a real bronze. At least that's what the, the website says. <laughs> I actually thought, since I'm going to have multiple faces, I actually thought maybe I might try gold. That'd be cool. And if, what if her face and torso and arms were, were gold, lighter, and then I patinaed the tail? That could be kind of cool. But I got, I can make tons of them and see which I like the best. Like it. I'm just gonna get it right out, right from the get-go. Let's address the elephant in the room. The, the, how's the light? Is it okay? A little bit less. Okay, yesterday's vlog, we went to the ADM and we looked at all these cool cars. And there was a, a an incredible, amazing uh, Plymouth Superbird that was on the floor. And I, I, I didn't do my research fully. So I went online and I looked around to see what year that car was and it looked to me like it was a 67. It wasn't, I know that now. And thank you to the 42 emails that I got from everybody telling me that it was a 1970 and not a 67. Um, a couple things about that. In life, there are triggers. We all have triggers. Triggers are the, the things that go off. Someone criticizes you or someone tells you you're doing something wrong or something that triggers you into an emotional state to defend yourself. Now, right off the bat, I started getting emails from people telling me that uh, I was wrong and, and they were all different tones. Some were very nice, some were like, you idiot, I can't believe that you did that. All this kind of stuff. It, it, it got a little weird. And at first, I kind of felt a little, a little anxiety about it because it was a simple little mistake and I was getting inundated. But they were all from individuals. They're not from, you know, it wasn't like this big fell swoop. But you have to realize that in all these triggers, you actually have to take a moment to pause and, and realize that you have a choice. And this is where real change begins because most people, if you were to criticize them, they'd criticize you back tenfold. And then, it, and then it turns into a full-scale war after a period of time. That's an extreme case, and most of them are much smaller than that, but road, road rage videos on YouTube are ridiculous. They're all over the place. And there's a reason for them, because people do not take the time to pause and, and establish that they don't need to be triggered. You gotta take the time and look for the positive side. The good thing about the fact that I got all these emails was that people are watching, and that's wonderful. And I wanna express my thanks and gratitude to every one of you that watched yesterday's episode and actually pointed out the fact that I did get it wrong. I appreciate that more than I can say. You guys keep me on my toes, and you make sure that, that I do things in the best possible way. Now, I know a lot about cars, but the truth is there's a lot of things I don't know about cars. And cars are my thing, but Honestly, I couldn't tell you what year the Ford Fairmont came out. I can't tell you what, what, what car Ford came up with when he was in the crapper. I don't know all the colors that the Pacer came in, and I sure as hell don't know what motor was in that Plymouth. Although, I should have opened it up just to check it out. Now, this goes back to a conversation that I actually had with Jay Leno. You know, Jay is, is the kind of guy that loves working on cars, and he's very good at it, at a lot of aspects of that. But he was the first to admit that there's a lot of things that he doesn't know, and he loves learning. I feel very much the same way. Tomorrow begins a whole new slew of cars that are going to be coming to the pad. It starts off with the Hyundai Santa Fe, the 2017 model. I'm going to be getting that tomorrow, getting that for a week. We're going to be driving it. We're going to be doing all kinds of stuff. We're going to be taking that car and driving over to Warner Brothers on Thursday, taking Ella DeGeneres' Christmas mascot to her. And Hyundai, if you're watching, you should be very excited about that because, you know, that that costume is a very big deal. We're using the Santa Fe to be able to do that. 
freaking awesome. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe uh, because I will make more mistakes and I need you guys to correct me. If you see something weird, you see something wonky, you let me know. I will fix it. Peace out, everybody. We'll see you soon.